Movement is a medicine for creating change in a person's physical, emotional, and mental states. Carol Welch. So this quote encompasses all that exercise can do for you. It's why I continu continually exercise and I hope to persuade you to do the same. Now, when we talk about exercise, I know you all have bad images in your head. It's when you were sore after, tired, or who even likes running, right? So, but it is very important as to do now, as well as as we age. I have done many sports. I do basketball and soccer, and I've done running. I've done weightlifting, so I'm qualified to inform you about some different types of exercises, as well as tell you the necessity, tell you why it's so necessary to do so. So today I will discuss the necessity of exercise, some examples, and finally the benefits. So as we go into college, we'll all have to face the freshman 15, where they say you put on 15 pounds in your first year of freshman eating as much food as we do. And also, as you can see from this chart, it's also a trend in weight with age from our 20s, 30s, up to our 80s. It peaks around 50, 50 years old at men and women that's both the same ages. So as you can see, as we age, we're also, we're also going to have to face the issue of weight as well as our college years, which is coming very soon. So the Center, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention found that 93.3 million people and million U.S. adults are affected by obesity each year, and currently the rate is around 40% for adults. This issue is also costly. The CDC also found that the medical rates for people with obesity is around 1,500 more than a person of normal weight. And it's also an issue with children. The current obesity rate for children is around 19%. And as you can see, in both adults and children, it's risen quite a bit from over the years, and it's only going to keep going up if nothing is done to change this. So why is this happening? Well, people aren't exercising. The World Health Organization found that worldwide, one in four people are not exercising. And this is also an issue with not eating healthy, but today we'll just be talking about exercising. So these numbers are nothing to look forward to, but we can fix this with extra fries. That's not right. <laughs> exercise. <laughs> so let's get into some types of exercises. Exercise does not have to, exercising does not have to be a daunting task. We know it's not fun, but you can personalize it, doing exactly what you want to do, whether that's running, even walking. So the Harvard Health Letter comes out, and they came out with four major types, major important exercises. So the first one is aerobic exercising. This can be walking, cycling, dancing even. And this helps better your endurance, lowers blood pressure, obviously burns body fat, and it decreases the risk of heart disease and stroke. The next one is strength training. This can be either with weights, heavy lifting, or simple, simply push-ups and sit-ups with just your body weight. This lowers blood sugar, improves your posture, reduces back and stress, and reduces pain and stress in your lower back and joints. Next is stretching. This doesn't really seem like an exercise, but it's very important to do so now. As well as our, our, as well as as we age, so you know before you do it, before you go into a game, you're going to stretch. Before you go on a run, you're going to stretch. Why do you do this? Because it's very important. So it helps with muscle flexibility. It reduces the chances of muscle pain and cramps. That's why you stretch to loosen your muscles before. And lastly, balance. Now I know it doesn't seem like a crucial thing to do, balance as now, but this can look different. So now we. Being young, we can do a lot of postures like, as you see on the left side, but when we age, we're gonna, it's not gonna be as much movement, but it's still very crucial to do so. And having, and vision, leg muscles, and joints all decline, are all systems that decline as we age. So this is why elderly people have issues with falling. But if we balance, if we practice our balance now, that'll carry over the years and will reduce those chances of falling and risks. So now that you have some ideas of some examples, Let's get into the benefits of exercising. So the Mayo Clinic came up with a list of seven major benefits out of the thousands of benefits. So weight, obviously. So when you exercise, you burn calories. The more, the more challenging the exercise is, the more calories you burn, the more weight you lose. 
Next is your mood and energy. So exercising in any way, it stimulates brain chemicals, which leaves you feeling happier and um, more energized. And energy is also boosted from the oxygen that's flowed throughout your body. And oxygen gets to the tissue, which is why you feel happier and you get more confidence and your self-esteem is boosted. So um, exercising also prevents illnesses. So it stimulates more HDL, which is the good cholesterol. And it also keeps blood flowing, which decreases your risk of cardiovascular issues, diseases, and it also will prevent other diseases such as stroke, depression, and arthritis. And lastly, it's fun. So exercising gives you a chance to escape the daily life of your stress in, in high school. You can just get away from that and focus on yourself. You can also find a lot of friends doing so, bring your friends along, and it can be a, a really cool social atmosphere. So physical activity does not need to have the negativity that it has because of the numerous benefits we just saw. So today I've provided you with information about exercises, some examples, and lastly, the benefits. Even if you've never exercised or even exercise every day, it's important to carry this information as we go to college and once again through the later years because we'll always struggle with weight. So when we all exercise, we can decrease the obesity rates we saw earlier. And with the happiness that comes with exercising, this world can be a better place from simply exercising. And the only way to maintain health is to exercise or eat healthy. But exercise is a big part of it, and it's easy, even going for a walk when you're 50, 60. So let's stop eating the extra fries, and let's exercise.